Good morning. We've been at this a long time. I think that's something everyone can agree on in this time where no one seems to be able to agree on much of anything. As the pandemic closes in on two years, we are all tired, frustrated, and ready for it to end. But I am much more optimistic than I was a year ago. For one, we have an effective, safe vaccine. Second, mask wearing has proven effective at keeping our businesses open and our children in classrooms. While legal battles continue on masks, the overwhelming compliance in our schools and businesses is paying off. Thank you. Please keep it up. This morning, I'd like to give a few quick updates on the state of COVID-19 in St. Louis County. Vaccinations given by the Department of Public Health and their partners have doubled from 600 per week to 1,200 doses administered last week. Most of those additional doses were booster shots, which are only available to those who have been fully vaccinated for at least six months with the Pfizer vaccine. We also attribute the increase to to the gift card program, which is only open to individuals who initiated vaccination on or after September 25th. We We are still taking applications and determining eligibility, but the program has plenty of cards to distribute. For more information on how to get vaccinated, visit revivestl.com. So let's look at some of the data points analyzed by our public health experts to determine how the virus is moving about in St. Louis County. The seven day average of daily cases is at 206. This is a 10.2% decrease. This daily case number remains in what the CDC considers the red zone and is way too high but this number is trending down and that's good. The highest rates of new cases are being seen among five to nine year olds and 10 to 14 year olds. That is 36.7 and 37.3 cases per 100,000 per day respectively. The positive test rate in St. Louis County stands at 7.5%. However, the rates are higher among children ages five to 14. As you know, those 12 and under are not eligible for the vaccine, so seeing these numbers is not totally surprising, but it's certainly concerning. And that's why it's critical that those who are eligible do get vaccinated and continue wearing a mask to protect those who cannot fully protect themselves. Currently, we're seeing the highest rates of new infections in South County, while the numbers in North County where the virus has hit the hardest are receding. St. Louis County continues to provide a wide variety of vaccine opportunities throughout the community. Getting a vaccine is your best shot at not getting this virus or spreading it to others. Of those eligible in St. Louis County to receive the COVID-19 shot, 52.5% are fully vaccinated with 58.7% partially vaccinated. The process has been slow, hampered by misinformation and rhetoric aimed at elevating political careers instead of protecting our children. That's beyond sad, but that's where we are. Which takes me back to what I said at the beginning. We've been at this a long time. Why? Because public health has become politicized. Because some people would rather spread lies than help the vulnerable. Because some would rather file lawsuits instead of adhering to their sworn oath to protect all citizens. I look forward to the day when I don't have to stand here and talk about COVID-19, but as a doctor, a father, a husband, and the elected leader of this county, my priority will remain keeping our community safe and sharing information that can help do just that. Thank you, and I'd be glad to take any questions. Dr. Page, we have one from Channel 4 asking if you know how the compliance with the county employee vaccine mandate is going. Oh, we're just getting started with that. It's a couple of days old. So we're uh, collecting information, collecting uh, vaccine attestations for county employees. And um, uh, we'll continue to follow that. But it's uh, the, the vaccine uh, or testing mandate that is uh, currently underway in, count- in St. Louis County is uh, just getting started. And uh, we'll be um, making sure that our county employees are either vaccinated or get tested on a regular basis. Okay, thank you.